Remember that? Kaiba's butler. Yes. Kaiba's butler. Look at his teeth. Look at his face. That is fucking creepy. Yeah. How are you going to be a billionaire? A millionaire? A millionaire? I don't care what she is. And have a butler like that? Yes. No how idea. does Joey do this to this guy? <laughs> also, no idea. Oh, man. Maybe he lost something in his face creases? Probably. Uh, <laughs> no I'm kidding. Alright. Okay. So, start with the one star opener. Makes sense. Okay. So, what does the block in the middle actually do? That is just a little bit of an obstacle. Okay. Uh, it forces the player to build around it, basically. Okay. Because in the later tournaments, there's going to be a whole lot more obstacles that I want to have to figure out. Goodbye. Guys for days. Guys for days. Cool. Uh, so how much Yu-Gi-Oh! did you actually play as a kid? Oh, God. Uh, I'm not playing it. I'm not playing it. Huh? I actually did own the actual board game of this. Yeah. At one point. And then moved and got lost. And it was never going to be fought again. See, when I was a kid, uh, at my elementary school, we had a computer club. Hmm. Right? which was completely pointless. It was just a bunch of people sitting around playing on computers. <laughs> and there were two kids in the grade above me. They would always play Magic the Gathering, right? Hmm. Which no one knew anything about because it wasn't... It was extremely popular with people who knew about, like, collectible card games. As children, we did not. We yeah. knew about Yu-Gi-Oh! because it was a TV show. So a bunch of us were playing Yu-Gi-Oh! and had no idea how it was to be played. The only thing we knew about was, like, the show. Yeah. Which just ignores the rules. Oh, yeah. To begin with. I mean, come on, man. So. Sacrifice for summons. What the hell is that? <laughs> yeah, it was like, what do we do? How do we do it? And we, it was just, like, really annoying. So we really didn't do anything. We just basically bought the cards and tried to play. Yeah. <laughs> and then me, being the type of guy who likes games, I saw the older kids playing Magic. And I was like, oh, I'm interested in that. And so I had my dad go to our closest comic book store, and I picked up a set of Mirrodin. Uh, the original block. Ooh. I I picked up like a starter pack, which Meriden was from. I don't even remember. I mean, time to <laughs> time to surf the moon. Uh, two thousand and three. Holy hell! So yeah, that's when I started looking at magic, and then after I bought that, I never picked it up again. It was sitting at my computer for years. I just looked at the cards. And because they look cool, and I tried, like, drawing them. <laughs> and then, after that, after... Until at least five years, which was basically high school, I got into college, and then we started playing Magic. Oh, God. <laughs> which, oh, amazingly... the smartest Magic <laughs> No one was. <laughs> but at least it was easier to figure out than Yu-Gi-Oh!, it was easier to figure out than Pokemon Trading Card Game. That too. Oh, right. Never actually played it, I just bought the cards. I try and it was a disaster. Yeah, I mean. Right. I just need the The other thing that I tried to do uh, as a kid involving games, uh, we had a project for one of my classes, where we had to invent something. And they had paired us off into groups. And 
a uh, friend of, not really a friend, but like a guy in my class who was relatively new, a guy named George. Mm-hmm. We got together and we decided, let's make a, a new board game. And we kind of made it like almost a D&D esque kind of game, except with less like character creation, where it was like you would go through the game and certain events would happen. You might get you would fight monsters and then you would get uh, loot, which you could use for your character. And it was pretty much just a basic game for what we did, hmm. but. We built it so we had, like, three boards, and you would go down the levels. So, like, the first board was, like, a forest area, and you would go through that. And the second board was a castle. And then the final board was, like, a a hellish magma nightmare escape with a giant, like, skull cave that we made out of, like, clay. That sounds very (laughs) doomless. I think we still have it somewhere in one of, like, in my house, in, like, one of our buildings, but it's <laughs> probably so dilapid- dilapidated and rotten that it's probably gone. Mm. But, yeah. I mean, eight times eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, what about you? Hmm. What, what, what was your experiences with games as a child? Uh, uh, almost, almost more around the actual classic, uh, classic uh, console games. Basically. Okay. Going through Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Genesis. That was a son of a good time. Uh, I mean, ever, because. Uh, <laughs> Random fact, I was originally from Delaware. That's true. So I moved here. <laughs> and it was downhill since. <laughs> Big old family members will get that. Technically, it was uphill since you moved <laughs> upward. Yeah. <laughs> Although, I was talking to my dad one day about we... We're driving up to uh, the comic book store near Rowan University. Mm-hmm. And I, I said, well, we're here. Why don't we just go down to the bookstore? And technically, the bookstore that I wanted to go to was more north than the comic book store. So he was like, oh, well, we're not really going up there. We're, we're not really going down there. We're going up there. And I was like, okay, but... I, I basically made this joke where since we live on a planet that's round, wherever you're standing, everywhere is down. Because <laughs> it's a curve, and you're standing on top of it. And, and my dad didn't get it. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. So that was an interesting conversation. Oh, all right. Uh, hey, talk about time. Yeah. Hey, you won the game. Awesome. <laughs> Even though I think maybe whoever watches this news the game. That's all. Jeez, Grandpa, do you really have to win that game too? I think I, I, think I actually think we're good to win this final. Well, I'm game for this. No, game four. But yes, next up, we go against the Green Gals Empire. Next up. Excellent. Alright, that's too bad. So, have you ever eaten in a place called Jim?